Christy here today. I'm here to show you guys everything I colored in August 2024. I had to think a minute because the months go by so quick. I have Levi on my shoulder here while I record with you guys. Say hello, Levi. Say hello, buddy, to everybody. So guys, check out all of my short videos, and right now I, I record mostly short videos instead of anything else. And then toward the winter time, when I don't have a lot of short videos to do, I'll be on here recording more coloring. Hopefully, I should be um, doing more coloring chats with you guys that'll be when i'm not able to do the short videos because right now i enjoy making short videos getting outside and in the yard here and taking videos of bugs so just support my channel and watch all my short videos the recent ones but i'm still here it's just i haven't really be, been into um coloring chats or haul videos so here we go I will show you guys what I colored this month now today's the last day of August so if I color anything else I'll show you guys what I colored at the end of September so here we have Spooky Mandela's Alexandra Frenzies, Frenzies. I colored this page Hold on a minute. Now, I was going to put some white like, jelly roll. Now, this is what I found out. That you can't really use white jelly roll on pencil. It doesn't do good. So, if you, if you want to use white jelly roll, just use the marker. And then go ahead and go with the white jelly roll. Because once you lay the pencil down, you might as well hang it up. Because white jelly roll doesn't do good. So on this page right here, I use various markers and also Kelly R pencils over the markers. Mostly tail tree markers here because I have a lot of tail trees. So I decided to use some tail trees on this. I'm still used to loving my Ahu markers that I got from uh, Ahu because they had to send me another set. Because the ones on Amazon, do not buy the Ahuhu markers on Amazon. They're dried out, I'm telling you. Half of mine is just crap. So, if you're going to buy Ahuhu markers, definitely buy them on the website. And I did this one August 30th. I decided to go in and go around the line here on the ghost. I decided to do that. I was going to leave the ghost white. decided to go in and color blue also. And the candy is fun to color too. The candy is. The, the candy is really fun to color. The candy corn is fun to do. Hold on just a second. Be right back. This page right here I did August 31st today. Various markers. And then I decided to go in with white jelly roll. I'll leave my cardstock in. Because I recently colored these. There's those. Comfy Patterns, Coco Wow. I mostly use the Hoo Hoo markers, so if I don't tell you what it is, let's see now, how can I do that? Well, if it's various markers, I'll tell you, and if I don't tell you what it is, you know it's a Hoo Hoo markers. This one's Kelly Art Pastels. But I'll tell you if it's various. 
August the 3rd. Mostly I used Ahuhu markers this month. And I know the Ahuhu markers, the 320 set, comes with all different colors. But after a while, you get tired of using the same colors. I know you get a lot of colors. And I'm kind of disappointed with the Kelly R. Pastel set that I used. I uh, used on this. But mostly what you get in that set is um, blues. I'm seeing a lot of blues in the set. More than anything else. And I know I'll probably use this green up because I can't find it now. But this was fun and easy to color. And this one I used color pastels and who markers. August the 3rd. Now this one was a real struggle right here. I just struggled and struggled with this because I messed up on the ghost. These two ghosts right here. And it looked totally opposite when I first started. So I used various markers and then um, I used King Art Gel Stick for the background here. And I didn't like it so I went in with some Timu watercolor that was candy on the background over the over the um gel stick which helped a lot so it just i just kept i did, i couldn't make up my mind what i wanted the picture to be at the end of it but i had fun coloring it and it's a wonder if the paper didn't tear considering everything i did to this page here um, but uh, the, these two ghosts here, I finally got it. I do like how these little ghosts here turned out. But the, what helped this page was the teeming watercolors. In the end, that's what's, what helped the page. Not the gel stick, but the watercolors is what helped it. And this is August the 30th when I did this right here. And also, around the page, I used the gel stick for border. But you can see all the shine. It looks so much better. I even used watercolor over the ghost. And pretty much, well, some of the pumpkin, I used some watercolor too. So there's that. I didn't want to highlight everything black, but I had to, to bring it out where you could see it better. So, sometimes I do not, I just don't like to do that, and then I end up having to. I'm like, I don't like that. But it is what it is. It, it, it does look better than what it did before, which I should have took a before and after picture. But I always forget to do that. And I'm bad too here lately, just changing my mind. I'll color a page, and then... I'll go back in and change it after, you know, I'll color it. 50 Ocean Miniatures, Camila and Jacoba. I did this page right here. I used Rion Glitter Gel Pens, Jelly Road Glaze, and Polychromos Pencils on this. August the 20th. I did this August the 20th. It has a lot of shine from the glaze. And it makes it real shiny. That one. And the Spooky Girl, Coco Wow. Did this page right here. This page was really fun to color. I just went crazy with it. I was wanting to use just all purples, and then I went in doing other things to it with Jelly Roll Glaze and White Jelly Roll and Ahuhu Markers. So I just went crazy with it. It was fun to color. Really fun page to do. August the 21st. 
And I put some glaze on the sky there too. You can see I speckled, I speckled the sky with some glaze. Fun and unique to do. I like how it turned out. I'm like, okay, where am I going with this? Because, you know, I was starting out, I wanted all purple. I like how the hat turned out, too. I made it a lighter color. And I decided to color her eyes purple. Cute witch stuff, Coco Wild. This page right here. I did. I used Yisan. Let's see. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Y I S A N markers and white jelly roll on this. And then, do you guys also find a lot of times after you use your markers and go in with white jelly roll, then it makes it it blends in the color that you use. Like this was a light green color, a light yellow. I mean, after I used the jelly roll. That's what happened right there. It's light yellow. But other than that, most of it turned out white with the jelly roll. I wasn't really sure where I was going with this. And I ended up using the red. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't know for sure if I messed this up. But I just added various colors. Yellows and oranges and greens and reds. And I believe the... Um, White jelly roll helped it a lot. Give it some, you know, pop. And I did this one August the 8th. I do like this and you can see it better. Here is Spooky Girl and her little town. I used a who markers on this. This was really fun to color. I enjoyed coloring this page here. Let me zoom in here so you can see it good. So used a who markers. <laughs> Yeah, August the 7th is when I colored this one. And this page right here. Oh, oh, markers. I'll just tell you who oh, markers. August the 8th. Whatever Coco Wo. It's Pedro right here colored using Sharpie. I smell that Sharpie. When I open the book on this page, I can smell it. Whew. I still smell that Sharpie marker. August the 9th. Mosaic Color by Number, Volume 4, Masterpieces, Jennifer Rowland. Do this page right here. There's Markers. X Method, August 17th. It's supposed to be this one right here, The Kiss, and that's about it right there. This page. It got it tells about it over here, but when you color it covers it up. This page I didn't finish because this was very disappointing a while back. It's supposed to be 
like this, but it turned, it was turning out like this. So I probably won't finish that page, and there's another one too. This one right here I won't finish because it's not, it's not the same as this. It's totally opposite, but I did tell her about this a while back. She sent me new pages, but I, I never got around to print them out. But still, I want back here. You can look, and it gives you um, the answers to the puzzles. See, I like how this one turned out right here. I didn't color these this month, but I'll show you. Hold on, just a second. In a minute. This one turned out good. I, I like how this one. So, I mean, it's, you know, those two pages you can overlook and just do different pages. This one turned out good. And also, I did this one in August. Turned out beautiful. August 15th. This one I've, I colored a while back, but I'll show you. So, you know, you can see a lot of them turn out good in here. Unique 50 Halloween Mandela's Camellia and Jacoba. To this page right here, I used Kelly Art markers and Jelly Roll Black on this. And Cerion glitter gel pens. This reminds me of Beetlejuice. Fifty Springtime in Dallas, Camila and Jacoba. This page, various gel pens. August 13th. Somebody colored this page. I saw it on Instagram and it inspired me, so I colored it and I'm glad I did. I just have a box of various gel pens and I got those out and colored this page here. Most of these most of this picture is colored with um, Kelly Art gel pens. They do really well. Kelly Arts. Fifty Haunted and Autumn Fairy Houses, Camila and Jacoba. I did this page and I used the circles. I used the circles some this month. It was really fun. Oh, who color markers? Mm, yeah, I used all circles on this one. Except right in here, I went in and just added some lines here. But I uh, mostly in the stars I colored in. And I went in, okay, colored with marker on the leaves here, just to be doing. So, I had to use circles, and then I went in and used marker on that. I went in with, I'm not really sure about this. I used the black marker sharpie reader, and I didn't use circles. Went in with marker here a little bit to give some highlight after I used circles. This one also is all circles. Ahu color markers. August the 4th. Happy Spiders.
uh, the Mood Switcher, Helen Holloway. I did this one, Ahuhu Markers. August the 4th is when I do this one. I hope that they don't, well, if it does bleed over, it's okay. And then this one I call her too, um, the fish. A hoo hoo markers. August the 4th. Children of the Woods, Deborah Muller. I do this page right here. Kelly Art Pastels. And I messed up this page. I don't know how to fix this page. I have no idea how to fix it. Maybe color the whole page gray and then just don't worry about it. I messed it up. I'm making sure. I'm double checking. Trying to make sure I put my card stock down. Because it will ruin the page a lot of times. I like how this one turned out. Hoo <laughs> markers. August the first. She turned out really pretty. I wanted to use a lot of yellow on this page. Give me some yellow and I'll be happy. She turned out really beautiful. Her skin was so fun coloring yellow. I'm going to be sad when this yellow runs out on my Who marker. This is one of my favorites I colored in August. I love this one. I, this is one of my favorites. I believe this was the very first one I colored in August. A Who markers. August the 1st, yep. Yeah. No gel pen or nothing, just a who. I just highlighted a lot, which helped the picture after I colored it and then add some highlight to lines. That makes the picture stand out really good. Fifty Triangular Mandela's Camila and Jacoba. Colored this one right here. Colored this one a lot of this one I colored when I was over at Shirley's with Mom. Took my this coloring book and some gel pens. Mostly Kelly Arts on this and some rayons. Very fun and relaxing the color. This is the cover. I was trying to go by the color of the cover. Like this color right here is pretty well right. Now I couldn't get this yellow right. That's why I decided to use neon. Neon yellow looks really pretty. So I went with neon. I can't remember if I told you guys when I colored this. August 14th. So that was a good day. I was with Shirley that day. Spooky Vibes, Alexander Franzis. I did this page right here. I like also how this one turned out. Kelly Art Pastels. August the 10th. Yeah, I love this one. This makes the picture so nice. 
a lot of times just to go in and add different colors to it. It's so fun to do. And you want to make it your best when you color. Yep, I think I told you when I colored it. I like coloring spiders. Halloween all year long, Deborah Muller. Now, she turned out really nice. Really pretty. I liked how she turned out. I used a Who markers, polychromos pencils, and Jelly Roll glaze on this page here. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. August the 19th. She turned out really pretty. And the pencil's so pretty on her. So fun to color. I like how the fire turned out. The fire was really nice. Very pretty. So this one right here, I used different things on. A hoo markers, King Art Gel Stick, Polychromos, Jelly Rolls. Office Depot highlighter and Marty Pastel on this. So various things on this picture. Very fun to do. I like how her hat turned out. August the 24th. She's got some shine. That's. Oops. I about went overworked the page, honestly. Because I see some marks right here. I went crazy with the page, so I just about overworked it on the bats. But that, that adds some. I've got some texture here to the bat, which makes it neat looking. That's what happened. But I overworked it. I was trying to get it the way I wanted it, the page. Then I used a um, gel stick too on the border. August 24th, yep. Bizarrely Beautiful, Deborah Muller. Well, this page right here was really fun to color. I used Polychromos pencils, King Art gel sticks, Triangular gel pens, Office Depot highlighter marker on this August 24th. She's got a lot of shine. That's what makes her pretty is shine. Instead of just plain without marker or anything. So I just went in best I could with pencil and gel pen. To make her stand out look good. A stone mosaic. Summer garden. Book 15. This page right here did. These are various markers in here I used. August 29th. This one probably is also August 29th. Yep, August 29th. This one's August the 29th. Color by number. I'm 
Spooky Cutie, Coco Wallow. Uh, this is the first page I decided to use pencils on that's grayscale and it turned out really well. I used polychromos on this. So I did enjoy it using pencil on grayscale. Looks really good. Usually most of the time I've used marker. So this is the first time. Pencil does do good because it has dark lines. So keep that in mind. If you want to color grayscale, you can. If it if it has dark lines, it's plus. It turns out beautiful. So did this one August the 25th. Simple Halloween, Alexander Franzi's Easy Coloring Book. I colored this one. I used the Hoo Hoo markers. August 21st. And the Ghost on Hoo Hoo markers. August 21st. This one, a hoo hoo markers and polychromos. August 19th. And this one, various markers, August the 26th. And I kind of keep my cardstock in. I look forward to coloring some more in here in this book. Gothic Hauntings, Deborah Muller. I colored this first page here. I used uh, Polychromos and King Art Gel Stick on this page. August 27th. This page right here, I also use polychromos. Uh, her face is supposed to be like this. I just wanted to give a touch of um, dark pink right here. I was thinking about going in and, you know, adding more, doing something, but I decided this is the way I wanted it. Just a little pink right here and right here. Polychromos. Very fun to color. August the 28th. So I colored this one. And also some color of pastel I used on the flowers. Wonder if I should. I thought I'd show you the shine yet, but you get a lot of shine using pencil. I have a hard time coloring dresses, to be honest. So I did the best I could with it. With green. Hopefully that was a good pick. August the 28th. So I colored this one the 27th and this one the 28th. And Cozy Friends Coco Wow. I did this page using circles. Um, the Kelly Art markers I have, they have small tips like the hoo-hoos I use. 
but I prefer using the Ahuhu markers mentioned earlier for the circles. It just seems like you get better circles using the Ahuhu. Did this one August the seventh. Still very fun. It reminds me how a page looks before you do watercolor. You know, on the Dollar Tree books you buy, it's like a dollar, and the, the the pages look like this before I add water. It reminds me so much of that. That was fun to do. 50 desserts, themed miniatures, Camila and Jacova. Wahoo markers, August the 12th. On this page, a hoo markers and tart pack marker. That's beige. August the 12th. Markers uh, for the for all this the jar color and the mice this light light gray is pal moss. Oh, if you're interested, it's I just really love that color. Pal moss M O S S is what I use, and um, I did this on August the ninth. Uh -huh, markers August the twelfth. Dazzling Animals two. Part two, Jennifer Rowland. Various markers in here. I use X method. Cover number this is. August the 10th. This one I did August the eleventh. Looks really pretty to the eye plus on camera. I love part one. The first book too, I finished it and I plan on finishing this one. I'm sure it would be great. I do believe and I'm not gonna look, she has the answers in the back here. Like if you wanna it's you know, cheat and look at a picture to see. Well, I think I'll do that picture. Then it tells you what page it's on. I, I believe so. I believe I've seen it somewhere in here. But I haven't looked at it. No, I've just gone. Maybe not, but I thought it had the, um, the key to the pictures here. Yeah, it does. I'm not going to do, well, I am going to do that. Number six. I just saw number six because I want to do number six. So, because somebody else did this page on Instagram. I really liked it. And I kind of want to look at the key to see which page it was. So it's this one. I just have to, I just seen that one plus the cardinal. Yep. I'll do this one. Next. Heart Mosaic Animal Friendships. Belba Family. Card by number page right here. Various markers. August the 2nd. Hold on, 
Pumpkin, August the 2nd. Give me a minute. Okay, August the 2nd, 2nd I do this page say hello to everybody pumpkin and this page I did August the 2nd also I'm about I'm getting almost finished with this book let's see Yeah, let me see if there's any up here I need to color. It's done pretty well. Let me see how many pages I got left. I'm going to finish this one. The Belba Family. I always finish, seems like Belba Family books. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages left in here. Spooky Cutie, Coco Wild, Cute and Comfy. Very fun book. I did the circles on this using the Hoo Hoo color markers. So if you're interested in, in doing circles, go on Amazon and type in a Hoo Hoo color markers. They're in a black case, and that's the best thing for circles to me. I did this one August the 6th. Beautiful. I did another one that I really like also with circles. It turned out beautiful. We'll get to it in a minute. This one right here. Whew, man, I just about messed up on this pumpkin head here. I struggled big time. Well, you can see some lines right there, and the pumpkin's got some wrinkles. I really struggled trying to fix it because I went in here, stupid me, silly me, and I wanted to color the pumpkin with black spots here. Oh my gosh, that looked terrible. So then from there, I tried to fix it, fix it. It's wonderful. Well, yeah, I did it. Did it? Yeah, it tore a little bit. I did. Uh, if you accidentally tire page. Just get your piece of wash tape and cover it on the back and it fixes it. <sighs> yeah. But when I took a picture of it, you can't really see the pumpkin, how it is. So the background's really good. I just went crazy with this. I still had a really fun time. I just, hey, that cut messed up that pumpkin head there. I used a lot of circles and then yeah, circles, big circles with the wider tip and still smaller tip. And then I went in and colored some of this solid. It turned out really pretty in the long run. Just hate that pumpkin. Just I can see lines here too on it. If I had the page again, I would like to have this page again and go with it again. But I mean, everything else turned out really unique. You know, the background. And probably if I had this page, I would want to recreate it and color the same thing. And color it the same way. Just try to fix this pumpkin here. And I like this book so much that I might reorder it later on, you know, and color the pages again. Because it's such a good book. But I used, what I used on this was a Who Markers. A Who Who Color Markers. And King Art Gel Stick on this. August the 17th. It is what it is on it. it. It like I said, you know, you look at it, it looks really good right here. Uh, this one I love this. I used a who color markers, circles. Turned out really beautiful. When I saw this guy here, I knew right off I wanted to use red. So and then I colored his beard red. And then I went in too after I used circles. And what makes it pretty too is the get another color 
and go over it with another color using circles. August 16th. So also, I went in with a wider tip, making this, some of the circles bigger. And then here, yeah, right in here. It looks really good like that. Like you can make smaller circles and then go crazy and make bigger circles over your small circles. It just makes it look really good to me. Because I, I used small circles here and then I went in with bigger circles on that pumpkin. I like it. I like how it turned out. Pumpkin, I believe it's going to rain. Comfy days, Coco Woe. August the 8th on this one. Now, this is the Kaliar markers. They're not as good as a who for circles, like I was saying. They're just not as good. So, go with the who. August the 8th. Still good, though. I had no idea what the color of this blanket. And people on the um, Coco Wild side on Facebook is so creative. But I just had no idea, so I just went in with black. Black does look good, though. This one turned out good. Old hags. Yes, old hags and geezers. Hookups. T. Lee Peters. I'm going to color another one in here. This was really fun to color. This page. I used uh, Polychromos. Castle Art. Pencils. Pastel. Tint. Um, Kaliar pencils. On this. Various pencils. August the 9th. Turned out really good. Very fun to color. And I did this one. I'll have to look up. I think what I'll do is write down over here. August the 9th, I do believe it was. On that, August the 9th. Write down uh, over here when the date was. Let's do it because I can't. Yeah, I guess I could do it that way. In pencil, just write down right here the date. And this is his info, if you want to pause it and read it. This is Earl. I found this book by somebody's coloring. I cannot remember where I've seen it. And I like the coloring. So that, that's how I found out about this book. Little Corner, Cocoa I love coloring this page here, and what I just love is the lines. The lines look really nice, and then I just added color here and there, various color to the lines. Kelly Art Pastels, and that what I like here, I draw a big circle right here. That's what brings the cat out, is that big circle, and just some lines here. looks really nice, and here's some lines. The cat shop. August the 9th on that one. This one right here. It's another Coco Wow. Oh, uh, markers on this one. August 11th. And this one, August the 16th. Oh, uh -huh, markers. Oh, I see. I remember I marked that one, didn't I? 
Yeah, here is uh, Tales from the Lich's Cottage. Hannah Carlson. I did the rabbit page in here. Right here. Um, August the 2nd. Kessel Art. Kessel Art Pastel Tint Pencils I used on this page. Done really good. August the 2nd. Yeah, this pencil's done really well on this. It's really pretty. Very fun to color. I wanted to color this rabbit pink. Okay, I colored some in Alana Wilkes books because I love her books. This is Celebrations. The Easter's fun. I colored some Easter. So fun to color this. Oh, markers in here. August the 21st. Let me take these cardstocks out. And then I'll put them back in after I show you the page. Probably colored all these August 21st. Gosh, I love coloring this. August, yeah, these are all August 21st. Once I start on our books, I just keep going. Can't stop myself. This one right here. Yep. It's all I colored in here. Creepy Cute Kawaii Lana Wilkes. Probably colored all these the same day using all hoos. All uh hoos. I'm going to take these out too right now. Color a lot in here. Let's keep going with it. Okay. August the 23rd. Yeah. Color this one. August, yeah, this one too. I had some bleed over here from the other page. I can't remember why I had to color the background of the other one, but there was a reason why I had to do it. On the same day. I love coloring this one. This one right here, I went over the marker with pencil. So I used the whole markers and then color pastel pencils over the monster. And this one I did the 22nd of August. I didn't like the color of the markers, so I used pencil to help smooth it out good. And this one right here colored. August 22nd. Summer Bold and Easy, Atlanta Wilkes. Color this cute dolphin here. I'm going to take the cardstock out. Uh, I'm sure I used a who markers, yeah. For the gray, I used RG160, red gray, August 23rd. Okay. 
And this one right here. Let's see here. Color this one. This cute cutie patootie. Same day. Here's camping season. Bold and easy Atlanta Wilkes. I do this kitty right here. I saw right here. I saw our Atlanta's picture here colored. And I thought I have to find this picture right here and I've got to color it. So I found it's in the very back here. It's colored. Yep. And I colored this one August 23rd. Cannot resist. So cute. This is camping season. And here is Valentine's Day cuties. I love her books so much. Lanta Wilkes. This little bear I colored. Let's see what I colored in here. Colored the bear. August the 23rd. Pretty sure I used the markers on all these. And the squirrel picture. August 23rd. Levi. Hmm, did I not write down the date on this? It was probably August the 23rd also. Most likely. Come here. Here we go. Yeah, I didn't write down the date on that one. I forgot to write it down. Okay, I'll color in all, about all the ones I have. Color this Mandela here. August 23rd. Yeah, this one I believe I forgot to put the cardstock down on the chicken page behind this one. I got this right here. Little job of there. Yep, same day. Highly recommend these books. They are really fun to color in. Very fun. August 23rd. I did color the sheaves too, I'm pretty sure. In August. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Colored them in July. My gosh, time flies. Looks like I colored them in August. This one right here. Mandela decided just to use black mostly. And leave some white. Or, yeah, it's neat. I like it. Oh, I was thinking, well, yeah, you see an eye here. Right here's an eye in the middle. Mm -hmm. Color this fun one here. August 23rd also. And August 23rd on this one too. Can't resist. I have to find a book of hers every month and color in it. And I end up coloring all of them I have. And I didn't color in the heart ones, I don't think, this month. A uh, hoo hoo markers. Yes, the foxy light. This was fun going in with speckles, with dots. 
You don't have to have the dot markers to do this. You can use a smaller tip and use dots. After you color, color the picture, just use dots over it. It makes it look really unique. So this is the foxy one. Mm. And probably I used all the markers on all these. August the 26th. August the 22nd is when I did that. Let me take all these papers out. Okay. I am probably did all these the same day. Yep. Well, why in the Dickens did I color this heart dark gray? That was a big mistake, and then I had to try to fix it. But I did. I colored it dark gray, that heart there. And I used some gel pen and some dots, too. To help the page. August 22nd also on this. On the pair of pants here. The groovy batooties. Okay. Oh, yes. August 22nd. Am I getting it, Pepper? Am I getting it? Same date, same markers, the hippie. Groovy. Little spooky Coco Wow. Gosh, this book is wonderful. This book is great. Little spooky. Yeah, I love this. Look at this. Love it. Just went crazy with it. We used a lot of orange on hoo hoos and some white jelly roll. And I went ahead and went over this with some lines with jelly roll. Why I don't know. It's hard to see. Some lines with jelly roll over the water. Um, and I went after I I used orange and green lines here, which was really neat, and some jelly roll over this. It just looks really terrific. I love it. It's unique. Um, Coco Wild liked it. They said they liked a lot of the a lot of the orange I used. So I like this is one of my favorite pages. I colored August 29th when I did it. This one right here, I use circles, uh, I use color markers on this page. And I went in with the wider tip over the smaller circles. You can do that, and it makes it look really neat. I did this on the blanket. Turned out really nice. And I like the way that I did the window here. I just went, used red and blue on the outside here. It looks really nice. Colored in some spots on the cat ear, too. It's hard to just stick to small circles because I want to go in and do a few other things to it. And that one was August the 28th. And this one, August the 28th, used the Who markers and white jelly roll. markers on this one August the 29th Halloween Pet Parade Happy Dish Publishing Better leave my cardstock in here. August the 26th. Oh, who the markers I use? Mm. 
Very cute, fun book. August 26th. Use some pencil over the banana, but I can't remember what pencil it was. Just move it out on the 26th. This 26 on the rabbit here. The cute rabbit wearing the carrot costume. And that's it. That's really a good, very good book. This is a good book, guys. Highly recommend it. I want to get Summer Wayne too. She, I believe it's Summer Wayne she has. This has some really nice pictures in it. Fuzzy Friends. This is, um, is this by? Here's the name. Right here. Cozy Friends. I did this page right here. And I also decided to go in with white jelly roll. And that was a good idea. Because it brought the seats out more. Definitely good. Although markers and jelly roll white. Yep. August the 18th. August 18th. This one too. And some pencil. Uh -huh. Markers and polychromos and white jelly roll on this page. When did I do this one? August 18th also. Was this one August 18th too? Yep, same day. Nope, that's it guys. Alright, I really enjoyed being with you guys and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back again. Have a good day everybody.